Consecration to St. Joseph Day 28 Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Nothing will be refused him, St. Joseph, neither by Our Lady nor by his glorious son, St. Francis de Sales. Comforting the afflicted is a work of mercy. The Church has seven spiritual works of mercy and seven corporal works of mercy. The works of mercy helps us to be devout followers of Jesus Christ by serving others. They help us to be like St. Joseph. The seven corporal works of mercy are feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, clothe the naked, shelter the homeless, Visit the prisoners, comfort the sick, bury the dead. The seven spiritual works of mercy are teach the ignorant, pray for the living and the dead, correct sinners, counsel those in doubt, console the sorrowful, bear wrongs patiently, forgive wrongs willingly. The Latin title, Solatium Miserarum, is generally translated as comfort of the afflicted, but it could also be rendered solace of the miserable or solace of those in misery. Experiencing misery or feeling miserable is not pleasant, yet the reality is that we are all going to have miserable moments in life. This world is a valley of tears and everyone is going to suffer. There is no way around it, whether it's financial problems, marital hardships, psychological struggles, difficulties in relationships, the death of loved ones, or a thousand other woes, we will all experience misery in life. It's good to have someone we can turn to for comfort and solace in such times. St. Joseph will comfort you in difficult times. Life is filled with many sorrows. Loved ones will die. Children sometimes rebel. And gravity will eventually take away your youthfulness, making you old and immobile. No matter what life brings, however, St. Joseph will always be your consolation, comfort and solace. He knows well the hardships of life. He is a kind and loving father. He comforts everyone who comes to him in times of affliction. His fatherhood is unlike any other. Let us commend ourselves to our good father, St. Joseph, who is the patriarch of troubled people, since he himself went through so much trouble. St. Joseph Mariella. A loving father provides comfort to his children, especially when they are going through difficulties. A father's wisdom and presence are reassuring and life-giving. Knowing you can always go to your father in difficult times reassures you that everything will be okay, even when your world seems to be falling apart. Regrettably, though, many people have never experienced this kind of love from a father. Many people today have grown up with emotionally abusive, distant and less than virtuous fathers. This has led many people to experience great anxiety and fears in life, as well as a tremendous sense of insecurity. God wants you to rest in St. Joseph's fatherhood. St. Joseph will never abandon you, no matter what your experience of fatherhood has been. St. Joseph will always be there for you. He is your spiritual dad and he loves you. He will never hurt you. He would give his life for you in a million times over. When life has you down and run to your spiritual father, pour out your heart to him. Tell him your troubles. He is the most loving of fathers. He is always available for you, always attentive, always understanding. If discouragement overwhelms you, think of the faith of Joseph. If anxiety has its grip on you, think of hope of Joseph. If exasperation or hatred seizes you, think of the love of Joseph. Who was the first man to set eyes on the human face of God in the person of the infant, conceived by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mary? Let us praise and thank Christ for having drawn so close to us and for giving us Joseph as an example and model of love. Pope Benedict XVI Litany of Saint Joseph Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Noble offspring of David. Pray for us. Light of patriarchs. Pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God. Pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God. Pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph, most just. Pray for us. Joseph, most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph, most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph, most courageous. Pray for us. Joseph, most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph, most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of workmen. Pray for us. Glory of domestic life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Espera us, O Lord. Lamb, us, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household. And brings over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph, to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant us the favour of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Amen.